Welcome back. Well, here I am again, and here's another kit. Uh, this is a pretty special kit. I will talk a little bit of detail, but not a whole lot, just some specifics. Reactor 5 pads and gloves, and I've already done a full gear review video about the Reactor 5 series, so I won't go into too much detail about the basics of those. I'll put a link to the video up here and down in the description as well, and if you want to watch that and learn a little more about the overall aspects of the model line, I suggest watching that. I haven't wore this setup in quite a while uh, for a couple of reasons. It's the pads that are the important part of this, and we'll just get started with those. So these are Cooper Reactor 5 pads, but they are like end of the run, late model Reactor 5. They're definitely custom, and they carry some features from the 1995 Reactor 4 series into the design of this set. The angled split knee rolls were not part of the Reactor 5 design. That's a Reactor 4 feature. But the cool thing about these pads, and it's actually why I haven't worn them in quite a while, is this is a set that I restored using the process of acrylic paint as dye. And I did a whole video on that. And in that video, we used a set of cohos. Uh, I'll put a link to that up there in the top and down in the description as well, if you haven't seen that yet. This was the later pair that I used the process on to restore. And these were just seriously rough pads when I started that process. Um, got these pads from somewhat local guy, Kyle. They were maybe used on street hockey or something like that. So these pads got a full fixer-upper method of getting the color back to them. And I also did all new graphics with heat transfer vinyl. Now, the way I play my style of play, um, I land on my knees a lot. And the immediate thing that happened was the knee graphics didn't stay on. And it bothered me and I didn't want to wear them that way. And Anyway, I, I found some better vinyl, thanks to a few different people that gave me some advice and more design for this type of material anyway. I finally decided right before this game to cut new logos on that better vinyl and apply them. I just didn't want to wear them with the knees looking as bad as they did for, for as long as they'd been sitting here. And I'm pretty happy with how clean that came out. And this time it did stay on there, it didn't come off. Part of the restoration of those pads, uh, all new straps were put on them as well. So moving on from there, the closest I have for matching gloves, slightly different color of blue, but again, Reactor 5 catch glove and blocker glove. The blue on the pads is more of a navy blue than a royal blue, and the gloves are more of a royal blue. So it doesn't exactly match perfect, but it matches pretty darn close. I don't talk about pants very often, but I did want to show off the set of pants that I wore. Uh, Cooper had a two-piece pants system where you had like an inner girdle and then an outer, um, it's basically a shell and it buttons on around the waist. And so I, a while back, ended up with these really awesome outer shells that match this kit. And that's the nice thing is I don't have to have a whole set of pants because I can remove the inner part from another set and swap them out like this. So that's why you have like a royal blue waistline on that set of pants. Helmet, SK2000 HM30 with a Kineski aftermarket chin pad. Ordered that without any logos on the chin pad itself. And then I put the Cooper graphics on there. I also refoamed that helmet and the shell is one that I've restored using that process that I've documented in a video as well. And I'll go ahead and put a link up top and down below for that as well. The stick, pretty sure I've recently talked about that, maybe in the last video or two. It's Darcy Wakalak. And I mean, come on, it's perfect for the kit. Chest protector, I don't have it over here because it is drying again. That was a Reactor 5 chest protector as well for the night. And then the jersey, 
is one that I customized. I started with a stock blue jersey, then I cut off the arms, used some materials from other donor jerseys, and cut out stripes, sewed those together, then sewed them to the arm of the jersey. The graphics are all graphics that I did myself with the transfer vinyl. I had to like recreate the, the artwork from Google image searches, and I tried to be as close as I could to uh, early to mid 90s range of University of Michigan um, artwork and logo design. So there you have it. That was the gear for this game. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you know anybody that might want to see a video showing off this gear or the gameplay of me wearing it, share the video with them. If you've got anything to say about the gameplay or the gear, leave a comment down below. And if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon. I appreciate it. Game videos next. Thanks for watching. After one. Good job, good job. Winning 5-0 after 2. I haven't really been busy at all.
five to one win. Good day.